This screencast will detail how to use calculator blocks in Aspen Plus software. To begin, open your ethyl acetate plant simulation. On the menu tree under flow sheet options, click on the calculator folder. Create a new calculator block. For this video, you will study how fluctuations in the feed flow rate affect the product stream composition. In order to induce these variations in the flow rate, we will use a calculator block. Aspen uses calculator blocks as a way to change multiple variables by only manipulating one. A common application of calculator blocks is when reactants are fed in a specific ratio, for example in steam methane reforming. Enter two new variables, F acetic and F ethanol. Define F acetic as the molar flow rate of acetic acid in the acetic acid feed stream. Define F ethanol as the molar flow rate of ethanol in the ethanol feed stream. Make F acetic an import variable meaning Aspen could use it to compute other variables. Make F ethanol an export variable, meaning Aspen will calculate the value based on import variables. On the Calculate tab, place the cursor in the seventh column of the Fortran input block, and type F ethanol equals F acetic. Recall that the reaction has a one-to-one -one ratio of ethanol to acetic acid as reactants. Spaces, spelling, and capitalization matter in this code. If your input is not entered correctly, the calculator block will not work. Next, we are going to use a sensitivity analysis to study how changes in the ethanol feed flow rate affect the product compositions. Go to the sensitivity folder on the menu tree and delete the old sensitivity analysis. Create a new one. The stream component to be varied is the acetic acid. The range is from 255 to 261, and the increment is 0.2. On the define tab, define two new variables. F ethanol and P comp. F ethanol will be the feed flow rate of ethanol, and P comp will be the mass fraction of ethyl acetate in the product stream. Click Fill Variables in the Tabulate tab and run the analysis. By viewing the results of the sensitivity analysis, you can see the flow rate of ethanol did indeed change as a function of the acetic acid flow rate, according to the formula entered in the calculator box. PCOMP confirms the composition of the stream stays constant as we want. Now delete DS1 in the Design Specs folder under Flow Sheeting Options in the menu tree, which enforce the 98 weight percent of ethanol at the bottoms. Run the simulation again and view the sensitivity analysis results. We can see that the ethyl acetate product composition decreases within this range as ethanol feed increases until it reaches our target of 98 weight percent. This confirms that our previous design spec was working as intended. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to model batch separations in Aspen Plus software. For more tutorials, visit the Cornell CBE YouTube channel.